come on over if you want to We can watch some TV, watch some Netflix if you want You, you can come on over if you want to We can do it Hey everyone, it's Sherelle from Crafty Girl Down South And today I'm going to be sharing with you a quick DIY of a farmhouse sign that I made. Now this video is not going to be as lengthy and detailed as the previous farmhouse signs that, I, that I've made in the past. So if you would like to see the steps that I do share, I want you to stay tuned. And also uh, bear in mind that this sign, I started on this sign about a month and a half ago. We cut the wood out for it and the framing, I painted it and everything else. So the only thing that we were down to was me staining the frame and then cutting the vinyl words out from the cricket. But I ended up putting the sign to the side. Mari started college, school started for us, and I just hadn't gotten back around to doing it. So I wanted to go ahead on and check this off of my list so I can go ahead on and get started on some of my Halloween and Christmas signs that I plan on making in the next coming weeks. So, without further ado, let's get to it. And guys, also remember to hit that subscribe button if you're not already a current subscriber. I appreciate each of you that continue to come back and watch my videos. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel, Crafty Girl Down South. Also, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Crafty Girl Down South, no spaces, and also on Facebook at Crafty Girl Down South, no spaces. Hey everyone, it's Sherelle from Crafty Girl Down South, and we're getting ready to make our last large farmhouse sign. After that, everything that I'll be doing will pretty much be fall, Halloween, and Christmas signs. So I'm going to use another MDF portion. Now this is a new board. We pretty much used up the wood from the other MDF sheet. So we have another piece that we've cut off of another sheet here. And then this sign is the same dimensions as the last sign that I did, which is 29 by 41. And it is also going to go in my hallway so to all of my returning subscribers welcome back for anyone that's new here just stay tuned hopefully you like what you see and then maybe you will subscribe to my channel too so let's get started oh would you stay till the morning light oh would you follow me oh would you let it be if I leave tonight, we could do this right We'll find the remedy Or would you stay with me now Till the morning light Before you turn away I just want you to know That I didn't throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind That I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here to open up my new Cricut mat. I already had several of the normal 12 by 12 Cricut, mat, uh, Cricut mats, but this one is the 12 by 24. So if you're making larger signs, it'll be a lot easier to purchase a, um, the longer sign because it won't take as many sheets. And I actually ordered this Cricut mat from 143vinyl.com as well as the vinyl sheet because it's a lot cheaper than purchasing it at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. And I found that uh, that website by watching Mr. Crafty Pants on YouTube. He does lots of tutorials using the Cricut Maker. Okay, so I went on and Stuck my vinyl sheet to the cutting mat, and then now I'm getting ready to load this into the Cricut Maker. I can't help 
but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Stop the time, don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving Okay, so all of the mats have printed off Here is the larger piece that I printed on the 12 by 24 cutting mat And the other pieces are printed off on the 12 by 12 cutting mat As you can see over there, there those are both of the cutting mats that I used and I told you guys before in a previous video that there are size limitations that the Cricut can print out on. So when you're creating a larger sign like mine, it has to slice the larger um, sign pieces into several pieces. And then you have to go back and put those pieces together. So I'm going to go through here and um, cut out the individual pieces and then lay them out on the sign and then I'll have to kind of connect each piece one by one. Okay guys, so this is where I am right now. It's pretty late and I'm tired, so I still need to stain the boards. I've put the word home on the board, but I still need to do home, sweet home. So I will weed those out, the sweet home, tomorrow and i'll show you guys the transfer process i just didn't with this larger word because sometimes it kind of gets tedious so it's almost ready like i said so i need to stain the boards uh, then jeremy's going to nail the boards down uh to the luan board and then that'll be pretty much it once i Trans, uh, transfer the letters off the vinyl and then the sign will be ready to be put up in the hallway. Much I love you. I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help but feeling just loving this moment.
concludes my video. Um, please remember to give this video a huge thumbs up. Also, be sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below. And if you're not a current subscriber, please remember to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And guys, I will be doing two more large farmhouse signs for my son's room because I'm um, redoing in the process of redoing that room but all of the other signs that I'll be doing will be Halloween and Christmas signs that I will be working on in the coming weeks so uh, guys have a good rest of a day and then I'll see you in the next video bye bye